Climate change is easier to ignore when it hasn't forced you to abandon your home yet. But for thousands of people, climate change isn't some faraway concept. Countries are already being battered by extreme weather events, and a population of climate migrants has emerged. Kiribati, a country of 33 Pacific Islands, is experiencing an especially urgent crisis. The average height of the country's 33 islands is a little more than two meters above the ocean. By the end of the century, melting glaciers and the thermal expansion of warmer seawater is expected to raise global ocean levels by one new meter. Even if Kiribati does not drown in the near future, its residents may soon need an exit strategy. Poverty, overcrowding, and poor sanitation are galloping ahead of rising seas to deplete the island's resources. Many residents of South Tarawa, a home to half the country's people, now get their drinking water exclusively from rainwater tanks. Experts worry that as sea level rises, Kiribati's fragile groundwater supply will face even greater risks. What can be done about this situation? In response to freshwater shortage, Ecovico implemented a desalination machine on a small town located in South Tarawa. The Aquifer 360 offers an easy to use, lightweight and portable way to purify water from virtually any water source. During our interview session, Tebrero Tito, the former ambassador of Kiribati, urged young students to help the Pacific region maintain a strong international voice. This inspired me to host information sessions and lectures to educate over a thousand students at more than 10 different institutions regarding the silent crisis present on island nations. It's 6.15 here in North Tarawa at the Immaculate Heart College, and what we plan on doing is going back to South Tarawa today to pick up our aquifer, and we are going to install it in, in one of the buildings here at the Immaculate Heart College. And so it's very important that this aquifer is put into the school because it provides easy access to water, it prevents the environment from dying, and number three, it will be a reliable source and a consistent source of fresh water for years to come. My name is Sister Mata from Immaculate Heart College. The everywhere we go is ocean, salt water, and very little fresh water. From my own experience, I see that most of the people in the country, they face this problem of shortage of fresh water. So you pump it and then bring the water to a place to boil it? Yeah. And how long does it take to boil? About three and a half. Three and a half hours? Yeah. Oh, wow. Last night at 10 p.m. when we were walking around the school, we noticed that there were groups of 20 students in the classroom studying together and reading books and writing. These students have the drive to succeed, yet they don't have the resources to succeed. So the main point we want to address here is letting these students focus on something else, education, sports, and even their social life. My name is Isintake Wab, one of the students here in Mecklenburg Heart College. Our tradition here is the singing. That's why we always, always, always love this school. I think every student in Kiribati loves their school very, very much, like us. We don't want to live here. We don't want to evacuate. What's very essential is that we teach all the sisters here at Immaculate Heart College how to use the Aquifer 360 so that when we leave, it will be in good hands. It is important that we give training sessions because a lot of projects that aid the locals of third world countries fail due to improper maintenance. These locals need someone to rely on after our organization leaves. We want to thank ECHO the ECHO for their help to our school. We weak, you strong. We poor, you rich. Students and other young people from developed nations can create real change. Echo the Eco is proud to have provided a reliable source of fresh water to the Immaculate Heart College, yet it is simply not enough for everyone on the island. Kiribati is one of the least developed nations. It contributes very little to worldwide carbon emissions 
yet it has the most to lose from global warming. We, along with the people of Kiribati, urge you to spread their message and to donate to Echo the Eco so that we can continue to aid Kiribati and other Pacific Islands in their struggle. We have already taken small steps to do so, but the biggest steps still lie ahead. I really want to thank the organization Echo the Eco for the help that you have given us and the need that you have seen and I would like to add to that that if you can help us more with all your expertise. Thank you. We need your help. Help us to let people know about Kipis, our country and our home. Thank you for your watching.